So uh, I'm kind of now wondering what George Orwell will be saying or thinking about hyper-local media as a term. Um, but I'll come on to that um, in, a, in a while. Um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. I'm going to be talking about designing digital tools for localism and also telling you why I believe just at this point in time is the perfect time to start experimenting and innovating with um, almost reviving democracy at a local level, which, after all, is where democracy started. So um, why should we be thinking about local democracy at a time when national organizations, national governments, and international organizations are working together so hard to tackle global issues? Well, I think there are some uh, two main drivers for this. The first is growing urbanization. Now, already half of the world's population live in and around cities. And moving forward, that's going to move towards two-thirds of the world's population over the next decade or so. And the consequence of that is that city administrations, rather than national ones, will increasingly be responsible for the support, for the welfare, and for the well-being of their citizens. Now, that's both a challenge, but it's also an opportunity to reframe local democracy. And the second reason why I think local is going to feel much more important to us is the fact that we're going to see over the next 10 or 15 years a phenomenal increase in people being connected. At the moment, there are about uh, just over a billion people around the world who are connected to the internet. Over the next decade or so, we're going to see another 5 billion people come online. And from the image here, the majority of those people are going to be uh, uh, logging on via a mobile device. And moreover, that mobile device is going to be able to know where the users are and going to be able to filter in and out to provide people with and help people find stuff which is not just relevant to their interest, but is also relevant to their locality. And they'll be using proximity to do that. So this uh, factor of people coming online and also being able to have the technology to highlight stuff which is going on in their local area, terrifically important. And that's why I think local, those two reasons are why I think local will become much more important. So where are the democratic opportunities for uh, this kind of use of technology? I'm going to give you uh, two areas of focus which I think are going to become increasingly important going ahead. Now, what we're already seeing is kind of collaborative consumption, people clubbing together to use cars, etc., cetera, uh, to share cars, etc., and to share resources. I believe there are two key areas of focus for local democracy. The first is hyperlocal media. And what that means, just to reassure George Orwell, is it's local media developed at a very, very local level at the level of a local community or at the level of a street or a neighborhood. And often, uh, local media is denigrated. It's seen as have it being low quality or, or compared with national or international media, is, it has a sort of second-class citizen status. But if you ask audiences about hyperlocal media or local media that's relevant to them, they can't get enough of it. Because not only does it provide information about where they live and what's going on around them, but it also helps embed them and gives them a sense of belonging with their community. And I believe that when you can filter news information and areas of activity for using these sort of devices, suddenly hyperlocal media has a chance to get attention so that we can move media. Here's, here's kind of what hyperlocal media was in the 20th century. It's a, it's a village notice board. We can move it much more readily towards this kind of device where people can find stuff that le they're looking for, which is much, much more relevant to them. And I'm not just talking about the democratic benefits of hyperlocal media as being something um, that gives people better news and information about where they live. The fact that we can produce, upload content, or broadcast ourselves, or uh, publish globally content and make that immediately available, as we've seen in Syria and Egypt, or the monitoring of elections in Africa, or even the riots in the UK last year. These offer a different 
voice, not just to state-controlled broadcasters, but to big media organizations. And so that's why I think hyperlocal media is important, a plurality of voice and a plurality of information that's going on. So my second opportunity is in using online tools to bring people together, new platforms. And this is an example. Uh, it's change.org. It's available now. It helps people draft petitions and then uses social networks to lobby for change, to change things for the better. Now, when you can use location devices to bring people in proximity to each other together to affect great campaigns like this, that's when very local media starts to have a real potential impact. And I just want to end by giving you three very quick things that we can all do to foster local, uh, 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 local democracy uh, using technology. The first, open up data, and other speakers have spoken about that this afternoon. It's happening at a national level all around the world. This is a shot of the UK, but in France, in America, in the US, um, in Japan, people are open, nations are opening up their data. I believe we can do much more. Local governments, city governments, if they open up their data, will some, create some great applications that not just help people, but let people have a much more enlightened debate about what's going on around them. The second thing um, is that the good news is you don't have to do this on your own. There are some fantastic organizations that can help you. Civic Commons is a repository of open source uh, uh, applications that you can pull off the shelf, tried and tested in other cities that you can apply in your own city uh, help to work. And Code for America is a great organization that embeds technologists into city halls in the States and helps them transform and create the next generation of uh, uh, public services. And finally, think location, location, location. If you're a content owner or you own data, think about geotagging your content because in the future, I believe this is the way, the proximity and the locality that people are going to find your stuff. And if you're not geotagging your content, then you're almost missing out. I want to leave you with that number because I think it's important. There's going to be, in the next decade and a half, six billion people connected online. And I think I want to leave you really with an irony, which is that a globally connected world might just give you, as citizens, the greatest impact at a very local level. Thank you. Thank you.